Uh, uh, I'm just going to talk in circles until I know that I'm live. Uh, hello? Uh, is this thing on? <laughs> What's going on? Hey, everybody. Um, Dog Island. Dog Island real. Um, how, how is, how is everybody? So, somebody said I was late? Dude, I'm exactly on time. Why? Okay, I don't know why this... I do not know why this pisses me off so much when people say I'm late. I I don't know why. I don't know why it pisses me off so much. Anyway, hi, uh, Dog Island. Um, I'm I'm playing it today. Before we start, you guys gotta see the intro to this. You have to. Look at this. Look at the intro to this game. Dude, I, I picked this up. This has been on my list to stream, like, for ages. I picked this up randomly, and I was like, oh, this could be, like, a fun little shovelware experience. I popped this in, and the intro is, like, oh, my God, my heart, like, melted. I was like, oh, this is going to be garbage, and then the intro starts, and it's, like, it's so cute. It's so cute. Oh, my God. Stop. Ah! <laughs> no! I don't. I don't know if anybody in chat recognizes this game, but uh, this was this was a game I think for the PS2 and the Wii. It came out like ages ago. Oh my God. Sorry, it's echoing. It just, I, I can't, who, who made this? Who made this game? Like, what, what studio is behind this? I, I don't know if this is going to be like a series or not. This might just be a one-off stream. I'll figure it out later. God. It's just like, I don't know why you would think that the dogs with really big heads would just like look deformed and messed up, but they actually look kind of cute. I, I have some people in chat saying that this game is actually peak fiction. Very excited about that. Well, we'll see how I'm feeling by the end of the stream if I want to make it a series or not, but... Yeah, uh, for, for those who are interested, uh, yes, I am planning on getting back into Yakuza and Knuckle Sandwich. Uh, I just kind of needed something easy to hop back into, and this was it. The Dog Island. Uh, it's a game for the PS2 and the Wii, and it's been on my list for ages because of just how it looks. Look at this. Look at it. Like, I, I needed to try it. I needed to at least try it. You know, it, it I'm ju I'm just now realizing the 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 pattern in the stuff that I play. A lot of the stuff that I play has to do with dogs. I did that like that like dog hotel game. I did that like like I did two different dog-based GBA games, uh, three different dog-based GBA games on sc on stream. Ahoy there! So you're the new mailman, are ya? One of the new recruits put this letter in the wrong place and it got soaked. So now the address is all smudged. Can you still deliver it? Hi there, Captain Eldorado. Let's see. Hmm. It's barely legible. But I'll give it a shot. I don't know why I'm like the dog video game streamer, but I guess this is just my life. Oh, it's an old puppy! It's an old puppy! No! Stop! No! <laughs> hey, Mr. Donatello, can I ask you a favor? Take a look at this address. Any idea whose it is? No! 
Well, now, let's see. It's hard to make out, but... Ah, yes, it's that kid's house. Okay, so I already know. I tested out the game to make sure it worked. I already know what my dog is gonna be. And I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna make my dog- I'm gonna customize my dog, uh, to- to look like... Uh, the dog that I had when I was a kid, Charlie. Charlie's a mix between a Bichon and a Shih Tzu, so I'm gonna go Bichon Freeze because it's the- it's the closest that I can get. And it looks- it looks pretty close to him. And what- uh, by the way, when I say childhood dog, Charlie, still somehow alive. He is still somehow alive and vibing. Against all odds. So we're gonna name him Charlie. God, I love my dog. I love dogs, just in general. Dogs are great. Oh my god. Sorry, dude, I, I, I went into this game, like, prepared to, like, shit on it. But after the intro, I'm just- I got the warm fuzzies. I love dogs. I love dogs so much. You know, Charlie, I believe there was either a brother or a sister. Now, which was it? Okay, brother or sister. Uh, I'm gonna go with brother, I think. Uh, but, uh, my, my dog, Charlie, he, he comes from a long line. He comes from a very big family of dogs. They have no idea who the father is, though. Uh, Charlie doesn't know who his dad is. He's never met him. Charlie's mom just came home one day and was pregnant. Uh, and, and they were just like, oh, oh, okay, um, all right. You go, girl. Ah, yes, I remember now. They're both good kids. It's a shame about their father, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hold on. What? Dude, no! Okay, no, that's insane. That- that's actually cr- I- I did not- I did not know about this dialogue at all, in, in advance. I- I need to clarify that right now. What? It's a warm day, or was it cold? Maybe it was cold. Either way, I'm pretty sure it was the leaves were just turning color. Now, this is gonna be a long story. So if you'll, uh, have a seat, I'll tell you all about it. Dude, what- Dude, holy shit, it's like the game heard me. It, the game was like, okay, time to customize your dog's lore. What is your dog's relationship with their father? Oh, no thank you. Uh, you've been a big help already. Thanks, Mr. Donatello. Dude was about to tell him a whole story, and he was like, nah, I'm out. Sorry, my bad. I, 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 gotta, I gotta get work done. Sorry, I would love to talk, but I, I would much rather leave, actually. Did a cutscene just load and then deload? What was that? Oh, there's Charlie! Oh! Get up, it's time for another amazing day of being you. Yeah, oh, no, no, they didn't have to add in the stretch. I'm, I'm literally, my heart is exploding. I... My doctor said it would happen. My doctor said it was happen. I I I didn't think it would happen like this. Oh, they, they got a handkerchief for the doggy. They got a handkerchief. <laughs> Good morning, Charlie. Oh my God. Good morning, brother Emilio. <laughs> His brother's name is Emilio. Your little brother looks like he's feeling better this morning. Let's have breakfast. Oh? The milk isn't here yet. I'm sorry, Charlie. But could you go to the milk store and get some? The milk store is in the square just outside the house. They have a milk... <coughs> sorry. <laughs> God, that burp was, like, strong. It, like, stopped me in my tracks. They have a milk bottle by their door. It's hard to miss. Off you go, then. 
Chickens are better? Chickens are not better, dude. Uh, chickens are cute. But dogs... There's a reason they call dogs man's best friend. What do they call chickens? Food. What do they call chickens? Nuggets. Sometimes dogs will give you explanations like this, helping you to play the game. Uh, if you forget what you've been told, press the start menu to open the menu. Then select tips from the memo. You can see all these explanations here again, so go to the milk store. Please hurry. Okay. <clears throat> no, don't go to the milk store. That's where your father disappeared? That is that the plot of the game? The milk store is in the square at the fountain, just outside the house. And the milk bottle out by their door. Okay, let's see. Um, memo. Scent list tips. I, I breeze past this. Move with your dog. Move it slightly to walk and press down on it to run. Press uh, O or circle repeatedly to run faster. Okay. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. So, full disclosure, I am running this on an emulator. And... <laughs> the emulator is not running perfectly. It is not running the game perfectly. There are a couple... Of maybe 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 some glitches visually that we might see I'm not exactly sure because I didn't really test it all that much I just kind of booted up the game made sure to, that it worked and then dove in oh my god I just noticed that the mama dog has like a bracelet on her paw <laughs> no <laughs> oh, dude <laughs> The people behind this game must have really liked puppies. Alright then, you be careful out there. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. This game is gonna kill me. Oh, why, it's a letter. Uh, well, about that, it's from my little nephew. How sweet. He just learned to write, but he's already written me a letter. I feel like that's foreboding something. Okay, so how do I run? I want to learn how to run. Move, uh, move R, uh, right stick to move the camera. Press R1 to reset the camera. Okay, so. Okay, there we go. That's how you run. You have to spam the circle button. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! This game is awesome already. Oh my god. I thought it was gonna be garbage. Hey, Enzo. Oh, you're Mars Pup, ain't you? Uh, what? The milk delivery hasn't reached you yet? That kid. Dude, <laughs> Enzo's looking fire. He's got like a tie on and a hat. Uh, I mean, my son. That good for nothing. I like that despite all of the dog's ages, they all look exactly the same size. Give us Undertale Part 3. It's gonna happen tomorrow. Mikey wasn't able to make it today, so we're doing something else. Calm down. Don't be such a baby. The people who the people who want to watch the y Yakuza 0 have been waiting for like four weeks. Hold down, uh, uh, square to sniff around. The item meter will let you know when there's an item nearby. Keep sniffing while approaching an item. Okay, got it. Search meter. During the game, you will be asked to find specific items. A special meter will be displayed to help you find such items. It will look like an item meter, but will allow you to sniff a wider range. Jeez, this is dumping stuff on me. Sniff around to get close, uh, to hidden items in the meter. Then press, uh, triangle. Take a closer look. I forgot to tell you something else I need to tell you. Uh, select memo from the menu and press X. Uh, then select the diary option. And you can see all the requests that you are currently helping out with. If you're stuck, press the start button, then select memo, then the diary. Uh, once you find the basket, bring it back here. Thanks. Okay, so I gotta find the basket. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Uh, hold, hold on a second. Did they... Hold on. 
They they animated the dog's like butt cheeks individually. Look at that. Throw it back. Why did they do that? I'm just confused as to, as to why the game developers did that. Why why would you why would you do that? I uh, gave him the basket. Thanks, that was a really big help. Oh sweet, I got bone. Why are you so low health? Because I think you start the game with three hearts. If you help a dog out, I'm sure they'll give you more of them. Uh, it's a sign of thanks. If you gather a lot of woofs, uh, you can trade them for accessories or healing medicinal herbs. Oh man. Dude, I wish I had this game when I was a kid. I would have loved it. I can already tell I would have loved it as a kid. I'll make the deliveries then, so say hello to your mother for me. Did you fuck my mom, Enzo? Oh, you'll carry it back yourself? Uh, are you sure? Salty play ni Himito pet? Gomo, what is that? What is Kinito pet? I got milk. Oh, did I just skip the milk, the milk quest because I got the milk? I want to go to the, I want to go to the, the milkman. Where, where's the milkman at? Oh my god. Oh my god, all the dogs have like cute little hats and stuff. Oh, Knuckles! Me when me when I me when I started playing Sonic for the first time and I saw that red fucker. You summoned me with this game. Oh hi pup. <laughs> Speaking of pups! Hi pup chance! Um hmm. Where where is the the milk place? Or did I get it? Did I walk past it? I feel like I walked past it already. Because I already have milk. I don't need to go to the milkman anymore. Oh no, yeah, that, that was where I was supposed to go. I didn't even notice. Oh, hey, mailman. Hey, aren't you Charlie? I went to your house to deliver a letter. Who, me? I'm Mr. Postman. Uh, I just started working in this sound recently. Oh my god, I've never seen this before. Really, Pup? You've never seen this game before? I think you'd probably like it based off of the total of five minutes that I've played. I see you've noticed this red box here. Uh, this wonderful uh, box allows you to send letters to dogs far, far away. By writing your memories in a letter, you can record them. Among... This is a thing called saving. Here's an idea. Why not give it a try? Oh my god. Hold on, is this game... Is this game peak? Is this game like... Hold on, I'm getting some pretty good vibes from this game. For context, Kanito Pet is a Bonzi buddy like like malware that fucks around with your PC. It has a streamer mode that tones down most of the fuckery, but just note that it has some random loud jump scares. Um Okay, I, I guess I'll look into it. So when does Majima appear? Dude, you just missed it. He was just he was just in the town square. It's like, oh, welcome back, Charlie. I, did you meet up with Goro Majima? And did you bring home some milk? The bark means yes. Oh, good. Thank you, dear. Mom, can I go to the festival tonight? Hmm, sure. As long as you drink your milk and... Your condition doesn't get any worse in the eve. <laughs> what does that mean? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, back it up. What do you mean? What does it mean? Wow, great! I'll go with you then, Charlie! Let's eat then! 
What did she mean by if your condition doesn't get worse? What exactly did she mean by that? What what exactly did did my did did our did the mom mean by that? If the condition doesn't get worse. No, 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 no. I wanted to go to the festival with Charlie. Your condition has gotten worse since this morning. Uh, jinx, you jinxed it. The mom jinxed it. <laughs> this is what This is why we can't have nice things. You can't go out like this. I'm fine. I'm fine. I drank the milk this morning. I should be fine. No, you can't get too excited. Charlie, I'll be watching over the little one. Go and enjoy the festival. Oh, I got an achievement. I, I forgot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot. I have achievements enabled. I don't know if I talked about this before. Okay, so there's a website. It's called Retro Achievements. It is a communal website where people come together and they make custom achievement lists for retro games. And I, I hooked up the emulator to the website, and somebody made achievements for this game. So, uh, occasionally you might see that pop up. I made sure to enable that because I, I wanna, I wanna grind out some gamer score while I play. So yeah, if you're interested, uh, it's compatible with a lot of different emulators, so definitely look into it. It's called Retro Achievements. Hi, Charlie. You don't look so good. What's up? Oh, no. Is he sad? Is he sad? Is he sad that his brother is sick? No. I hate this. I hate... Never mind. I don't want to play this game anymore. No. This sucks. This is the worst. Come on. Cheer up. Tonight's the big festival, isn't it? So just let loose and party. Oh, I hate I hate this. No, this is the worst actually. This this game is actually horrible. I don't like this. Oh. Falling stars are a sign of troubled times ahead. What does that mean? What is this game even about? <laughs> I hope the stars are wrong this time. Oh no, Emilio. Emilio, don't sneak out. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Oh my god. Dude, it'd be so awesome if this game was like a turn-based RPG. Where you can just make a party of like really cute dogs. And you have to fight, I don't know, like dog Satan to save your brother's soul. You fight God at the end of the game. Like dog God. Can I push them? Oh, I can push them a little bit. First time playing the game, my first thought is to push old people. Just like in real life. Hey, you're entering the contest too, right? Good, I'm looking forward to the competition. Okay, what's the competition? Charlie, are you entering the contest too? You should ha go have a chat with Gustavo. He's by the fountain. Okay, time to go talk to Gustavo. I, I assume that Gustavo's the guy with the giant question mark above his head. Come one, come all, gather round, gather round. You there, you look skilled. How about joining the treasure hunt contest? Uh, yes. I believe that's what I need to do to advance our plot. Good, good. The rules are simple. There are three spiral shells hidden in the town. You need to find them by sniffing around and bringing them back here. The winner is the dog who finds the shells and makes it back here the fastest. We have a prize, so every dog do your best. This is what a spiral shell smells like. 
just like throws like sand in my eyes. Ah! 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 Well then, get ready. Hey, isn't that your... No, Emilio! You gotta go back inside, dude. You're sick. Yeah, Charlie, tell him. Yeah, tell him. Tell him off. I followed you. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Maul him to death. Maul him. Kill him. I wanted to come to the festival with you, Charlie. Look, I'm fine. I drank the milk, didn't I? Yeah, milk is not enough. <laughs> Milk is not enough, my friend. You've gone, like, terminal. You, you can't go drinking milk to solve that. You're entering the treasure hunting contest, right, Charlie? Well, I'll just watch that and then go home, okay? I won't get in the way, okay? Please. Sorry, I'm, I'm making him kind of sound like Deku. <laughs> my hero I can do it. I won't be that big of a bother. Uh, All Might, don't worry about it. Yeah, sure, I'd love to eat your hair. I won't be too much of a bother, right, Kachan? Are you all ready now? Okay, then, here we go again. Ready, go! Okay, time to find the spiral shells. Okay... Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, did I just find it? I did. Do I win? Do I win? Or do I have to get multiple? I forget. You found one. When, when you found two more, still got a chance. Go and get it. Emilio. Charlie. <coughs> uh, I'm, I'm okay. You don't sound okay, bud. I just wanted to root for you, Charlie. No, this is good. This game is gonna break my heart. This game is gonna. Oh my god, this is the worst thing ever, actually. Oh, they got like dog fireworks? Oh man, that's cute. What if it's at the end of this dock? Probably not. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's very much not. Dude, I love this chihuahua behind the desk. He's like on his hind legs. He's on his hind legs. There we go. Nah, because Emilio is going to like wish upon a star or something and be like, I wish that I was better so I could hang out with my big bro, Charlie. And then it gets more sick. And it's gonna it's gonna destroy me from the inside out. There's wait, guys, I have amazing news. There's a bark button. They do indeed have a bark button in this game. You can charge up your bark. Oh my god, you can howl, you can howl, you can howl. You can howl! Oh wow, this game is like actually... I, I keep going back and forth between um, liking this game and hating this game. It's like, wow, it's so cute, but also my brother is sick and he will die. Congratulations! That pup! Ain't he Dolik's son? D Dolik? He takes after his father. So, Charlie, what are you gonna do with those flowers? Silly. He's obviously going to give them to his sick little brother. Uh, huh? Really? Flowers? Yippee! Oh no, no, he's gonna- No! No! No, let's go! I'm, I'm turning off the computer. I'm turning off the computer. No, for, forget about this. Forget this. I don't want to see it. I don't want to play this anymore. I'd much rather play Yakuza 0. Shiver me timbers! Somebody call a doctor! 
Yo, thank God for this pirate dog. What if the father had the sickness too and died? No, don't say that, chat. Do not, do not say that. Don't say that. I don't like that. How's it look, doctor? He's been sick like this for so long. How much longer until he gets better? <laughs> I have to be frank with you. He is never going to get a long time. What? He, doctor, doctor, he's got terminal. What are you talking about? What is the rating of this game? Dog Island Game. What is the rating of this? It's rated E. This is rated E. They're talking about him going terminal. What are you talking about? No, that can't be true. Dude, holy shit, this guy looks like if, uh, if, if Heisenberg was a puppy. You guys see what I mean? Like, he, he looked, he, he, he looks like he could be like Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. Walter. Walter, you gotta stop eating and chewing those bones, Walter. You gotta stop it, Walter. Sorry, I'm really ruining this scene. Hold on. No, I, I really, dude, I, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I personally, it is so hard for me to stay emotionally stable when I engage in media that has like animals that are hurt. It is, it is so difficult, especially like if it's like kind of like if they're, they're made to be really, really cute like this. Like if there's a dog in like a movie or a TV show or a game that gets hurt, I feel it in like the pit of my stomach. What should we do? Is there really no way to cure him? I've heard of a skilled doctor called Dr. Potan. He lives on THE Dog Island. He may know of a way to cure this. THE Dog Island? My boy can't make such a trip in this condition. Yes, he's in no shape to be traveling. What shall we do? Your only chance, as I see it, is to go and ask Dr. Potan to come and visit your house. But I can't just go... Am I the only one watching this in the shower? What, what are you talking about? What? You're watching this in the shower? Why, why would you do that? I mean, like, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Sometimes I read One Piece in the shower. Sometimes, I don't know why, I just like, I happen to be showering whenever I realize, oh yeah, wait, there's a new chapter out, and I just like, hop in the shower, pop it open, read. I'm in no, I'm in no, I'm in no room to judge. I'm in no room to judge you at all, actually. But I can't just go off and leave my son here alone. I understand. In any case... There's been a series of storms near THE Dog Island. And many ships have sunk, sunk while attempting to get there. Just trying to get to THE Dog Island itself is a big risk. And even if you made it there, there's nothing to say that Dr. Potan would come. Please, just stay at your pup's side. Well, my best to you. Please, call me if you need me. You didn't do anything. You just said, oh, your, your, your son is gonna die, and there's nothing that you can do, so just witness him die. Oh, what can I do? No, Charlie, you're not thinking of going there yourself? No, I can't allow you to do anything so dangerous. You heard what the doctor said. There are terrible storms around the Dog Island. Some ships have shut. 
Some ships have sunk. Damn it! Some ships have sunk just trying to sail there. Your father already went to search for a remedy for your little brother. No way, he didn't come back? And he hasn't come back? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What? What would I do if anything happened to you? I couldn't take it. Bro, what? Oh, thank God the pirate is here. The pirate is here to- Guys, guys, don't worry. The pirate is here to help. He's here to tell, uh, help Charlie. Ah, there you are, Charlie. Are you absolutely sure about going to the Dog Island? You know, sailing to the Dog Island ain't gonna be a walk in the park. Are you truly willing to risk your life and limb to get there? Well, it looks like you're serious. All right then. Well, my ship's good enough for you. I'll take you there. But I'll tell you, this won't be no luxury cruise. You'll have to work for me while you're on board. Got it? What is this plot, dude? The the ki poor kids who bought this game were probably like, "Oh, cool puppies! I cr I probably got to take care of them and like and play with them in the game and stuff." And it's like, your brother will die. Your brother will die if you don't save him, main character. Get your puppy ass on the ship! Till then, you got some time to get ready, Yar. Oh, cool. This is going to break my heart, isn't it? It's going to tear my heart into, up into a million different pieces. Like I told you last night, I'm very worried about you going there alone. But you made your decision, and I won't argue with you about this anymore. But please be careful, and have a safe trip, dear. No! No! Stop! 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 I wish you didn't have to go through all this trouble for me. Don't you get it, you fool? You mean everything to me. Plus, you're also like a cute dog. Dude, what if Nintendogs had like lore and like, uh, and it was an RP, it was like an RPG. Okay, we got, we got an achievement. Dog journey has started. Only 12% of players get this far. It's time to it's time to go on your grand adventure, Charlie. To find the dog piece. They say falling stars are a sign that trouble's brewing. So you'll be careful, you hear? Thanks, Donatello. My good friend from my hometown. Hey, stay out of trouble, okay? Take care. Dude, why is the water so loud? <laughs> what is this, like, Sonic Adventure 2 battle sound mixing going on here? The one piece, oh my god. The one piece. It's the one piece, guys. One one. Dude, he, dude, he's literally on a pirate ship. He's gonna find the one piece. He's gonna find the dog piece out there.
Charlie Adventure 2. <laughs> where, where is this game even going? Like, we're, we're like what? Like, we're like 30 minutes into the game? What? Oh, he, he saved that. He saved that bird that was falling by headbutting it super hard. And then, like, eating it? I don't- <laughs> I don't know what the plan is there. God damn it, even the dolphins are cute. Charlie, no! Shooting stars are, are, are symbolism that, that troubles a Bruin. That one old dog that, that we talked to, Donatello, he said that. Don't get happy. Just join, why is his head so big? Tumor. It, 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 tumor. Dude, if any of these dogs existed in real life, like, their heads would be so big that, like, they would instantly die. <laughs> like, their heads would be so heavy <laughs> that they would just instantly die. Like, the moment that they were born. <laughs> If your paws are on my ship, you're gonna have to work as one of my crew. Very good. Filippo here will give you all the details. All right, get to it. Come aboard and bring along all your fucking dogs. Together we will find everything that we're looking for. Dog peace. All right, matey, I'm Filippo. Uh, nice to meet ya. You'll perform the duty given to all new crewmates. The tough job of swabbing the deck. To find the places that need cleaning, all you gotta do is... Uh, let me guess, sniff? Oh, uh, never mind. It threw me a curveball. I, th I thought I knew where this game was going. No, I apparently don't. To put it simply, if you... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, this game is great. That's what- okay, I learned the smell of dirt, guys. I learned the smell of dirt. Come and find me once you have cleaned up all the dirt from the deck. Get to it! Alright. Okay, now- 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 Okay, you cleaned some of the dirt from the deck. Let's go. Get to cleaning, Charlie. You know, in real life, uh, instead of cleaning up messes, Charlie would actually cause them. Okay, let's learn- let's learn wh who our crewmates are. So we got Filippo, uh, Bernard. All clear ahead! Oh, it's the postman. Mr. Postman, hey! You're here to save your memories, aren't you? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll save. Okay, overwrite. Got it. Okay, let's uh, get back to playing. Anytime you need my help, all you have to do is ask. Uh, for those asking, the Undertale stream is going to happen tomorrow, guys. We had to delay it because Mikey wasn't available right now. Don't worry, it'll happen. Same with the Yakuza stream coming up. But I will say that there is there is another uh, there's a, there's another Gaza strike coming up soon. I think it starts on the 18th, so. I won't be streaming or uploading for like a week, but as soon as it's over, I'll I'll be back with a I'll be back with a, a swing. I'll, I'll have plenty plenty to do. Okay, Filippo. Good work, ship dog. I thought he said something else. <laughs> Good work, shit dog. Your hard work has been noticed. Oh, please let the entire game just be one piece, dog. P please.
Yeah, I, I participated in the, the last Gaza strike that went on, but I didn't want to, like... I didn't want to just go on Twitter and be like, I'm going on strike, because I feel like that would have been, like, taking away uh, attention and diverting it to myself, so... I'm just gonna try to be low-key about it, but, like, tell people that it is happening, so... Just letting you guys know, uh, the, the next strike, if you can participate, it's it's on the 18th to, I think, the 25th. You check it out, uh, there, there's some stuff on social media about it that might help you better than I can. Uh, and it's just a general strike, so it's like, you know, not trying to, like, avoid work and, and buying stuff the, as much as you can. General stuff. But, uh, yeah, don't quote me on that. Uh, look up the specifics. I have to go back and look uh, up the specifics myself. Uh, so that I am, you know, doing the right thing. So, yep. Uh, today I've got something for you to do that other than clean in the deck. Today you're gonna be fishing. Let's go! It's a real important job. Let me introduce Bernard, our cook. I'm Bernard. Nice to meet you. I met you already, Bernard. You don't seem like you have a fishing rod, so I'll lend you mine then. Now, I'll tell you how to fish. Listen carefully. So I assume that this, this boat section is probably the tutorial for most of the game's mechanics. You can fish on the planks uh, by the ocean by the lakes, uh, press X. When a fish is biting on the line to reel it in, the distance of the fish will be displayed in the bar on the screen. Okay. Uh, fishing tips. Don't reel in big fish too quickly because it might break the fishing line. Stop reeling in to ease the tension on the line. But if the line gets too loose, the mi fish might uh, get away. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll kind of live and learn with this. I'll figure it out as I go. Doesn't seem too difficult. Watch me fail this. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, I failed it. Press X to pull up on the... Okay, got it. Keep the bar in the center. Got it. <clears throat> okay, I get it. It, like, it, like, tugs at it, and I need to keep it centered. Got it. All right. Caught the sea bass. Looks like you managed to get the basics. Now comes the important stuff, so listen up carefully. Those waters are filled with Pacific Sauri and sea bass. I want you to catch one of both and bring them to me. We need them for a dish I'm preparing. D Dude, Bernard Isanji! Bernard Isanji, real! But he's, but he's better because he's not a womanizer and also he's like a, a cute little dog. I think Oda should take notes. Well, go ahead and get to it. <laughs> the worst rope burn of all time. <laughs> Hold on. I need to fish again. Why did it start me all the way over there if, if I need to fish again? Okay, this one's a smaller fish. Okay, there we go. Fish. Got it. Oh, I got it. Okay. So I think that that... I think I got what they need then. <laughs> one piece if it was good. One piece if Oda wasn't fucking around. Okay, Pacific, sorry. I want you to... Oh, wait, I have to get another sea bass? Ah, oh, never mind. Dang, dude, I wish you told me that you were taking the sea bass out of my inventory. Okay, here we go. Come on, sea bass. Hoping that's a sea bass. Damn it. Hi, Salty DK Dan. I joined 20 minutes ago and I'm about to shit myself. Um, have, have I gotten to that point? Have I gotten to that point on YouTube where I have to remind people who watch my stuff that they need to go to the bathroom? 
Is that is that where I'm at? Hey, if you're watching this video, don't uh, make make sure to remember. Make sure to remember to shit. And piss. And piss and piss and piss. Got to tack that on there because some people some people forget. It, it, it really does feel like some some commenters and some viewers are just kind of like they, they they just sound like <laughs> they just sound like children in preschool. I mean, like I like this game. Oh, really, champ? You do? Oh, that's great. Anyway, did you finish up with your coloring book? Yes, I did. It's so cool. What'd you put in it? Colors. I know, that's what coloring books are for, silly. Idiot. Okay, I cannot catch a sea bass for the life of me. What is going on? You say piss, I say how much. Okay, this has got to be a sea bass. Because, like, the, the bar is so big. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> is it this hard to catch a sea bass? What is going on? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, why can't I catch a sea Do I already have a sea bass in my inventory? Okay, I'm gonna check. Just I'm just gonna check really quick. Because this shit's insane. Inventory. Items. I just have a bunch of specific sorries. They took my sea bass. Hey, Salty, I'm so dry. I'm coughing so bad. What should I do? Dude, drink water. In the next five minutes, talk like Trevor. That's just how I imagine, like, a lot of you guys talk. Oh my god, it's my favorite... YouTube guy, Salty Dick Dan. Uh, that's right, citizen. Here I am. I'm uh, playing video games. That's so cool. I wish that I could play video games, but I can't because my, my arms fell off. Why the hell did your arms fall off? Well, I was doing this cool challenge for like November of last year. It's, the, it's called the Cut Off Your Own Arms Challenge. And I didn't want to be a prude because I saw people doing it on Twitter and I wanted to do it too, so I didn't feel left out. So that's kind of like the whole deal. Okay, well, um, that that's cool, champ. I don't know what this bit is. Anyway, I, I got a sea bass. I accidentally was spamming uh, X over and over again. Whoops. Okay, come on, Charlie. You already gave me one of them. Enough with that Pacific Sorry, okay? Now I need a sea bass. Yeah, I have a sea bass. Oh, this. This is a tasty sea bass. Oh, I should probably, like, I'll, I'll do my, uh... <coughs> I'll, I'll do my Sanji impression. Uh, that's a Pacific Sorry and a sea bass. Good work. Well, that's all for today, then. I'm, I'm Bernard. If you want to be real, ship dog, you'll need some tackle. You can keep that set then. You can't carry around extra fish, can you? I'll take them off your paws. You can receive nine woofs. Dude, holy shit, I'm rich. Dude, I can buy like a stick of gum with nine woofs. A stick of gum and like. One of those, like, cool chocolate coins that, like, your grandma gets you sometimes. <laughs> has, any, has anybody in chat eat, eaten those, like, stupid chocolate coins? I love them. I don't know why, but they hit, like, weirdly different to, like, other chocolate, and I'm not really sure why. Oh, dude, I got fishy fishing! Only 0.5% of players get fishy fishing, the, the, the fishy fishing achievement. I've been very impressed by your work. 
You want to work on my ship as a sailor full time? Har, 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 har. I'm just joking. Talk to Filippi F Filippo here. He's got a job for you again. Get to it. Dude, okay, speaking of stuff that hits different, communion wafers. Can 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 other people please attest to this? Communion wafers hit a little bit different. When when I was a kid and I went to like communion and stuff like that in in like uh like Sunday stuff at like a church, something that I would do because I would get so bored during church is I would take the communion wafer and I would try to hold it in my mouth and keep it as dry as I could without swallowing it for as long as I could. And that was how I kept myself entertained in church. All ship dogs have the lives of their uh, their mates and their paws. We trusted each other. Like family. Like one big seafaring family. On the other paw, we don't trust dogs we don't know. Now for the captain to let you, uh, let you a dog we don't know ride right on the ship. Uh, let's just say that it don't happen often, you see. You're one lucky dog. Today, like before, your job is to clean the deck. To find places that you need cleaning, all you gotta do is... Use the- okay, yeah, I know, I know. I fucking know how to swab the deck, Fi Filippo. Filippo, whatever your name is. But yeah, no, dude, Christ Crackers went crazy as a kid. When, when, I, when I was a kid, I actually imagined- I had, like, power fantasies where, uh, I would, like, sneak into the church and, like, steal a bunch of them and just break, bring them home. But I feel like they wouldn't hit different. I feel like those community waivers wouldn't hit different if if uh, you you ate a bunch of them all in one go. I think the fact that like they edge you with it, like every time you go to communion and you get those those wafers, they only give you like one. So I think a big reason why I like them so much is because there was th that edging involved. Because, like, you want more, but they're not going to give it to you, because, uh, that would make God very sad. I think, I think, I think the, the communion wafers are kind of built up in my head just because of the fact that I can only eat, like, one at a time, like, every week. Hold on, hold on. I smell dirt. Okay, is that all of it? Nope. I think there's still a little bit more dirt. Oh, hold on. Edging's not in the Bible. Okay, then what were they doing with those communion wafers then? When I was a kid, I, I, like I said, I wanted to eat a shit ton of them. It felt like they, they were edging me each week, giving me a little bit of Christ crackers. Salty DK Dan confirms to edge himself in church. That is not what I'm saying. I did not edge myself in church. I was saying that the fact that they only gave me one Christ cracker a week every Sunday that it was kind of like edging. Like, if we were to compare the two experiences, edging and only getting one communion wafer, they're pretty similar. Salty, please use a different word. No, I'm not. I'm I'm sticking to this. I'm sticking to this. I I'm already in too deep. I can't I can't just stop it now. Good work, ship dog. Your hard work hasn't gone unnoticed. Quest complete. Can you give me a woof, please? Yo, can you hit me up with a woof, please? I need that woof, man. I need that woof, man. Come on.
Bro, they're gonna excommunicate you. Dude, holy shit. Imagine if I got excommunicated from like Catholicism. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't go to church anymore. I'm I'm not really like I'm not really that religious at all. I I don't go to church, so if they excommunicated me, it would be pretty funny. Dude, okay, I, I'm not joking. If I got excommunicated from the church, I would put that in my Twitter bio. I would put that on a plaque in my apartment. Like, that. that is like... That's badass. That's a conversation starter. People would be like, dude, you got fucking excommunicated? What did you do? Well, I was talking about being in church and edging on stream, and I guess some wires got crossed, and uh, the, the Pope found it right after he finished playing Undertale for the first time. He was like, wow, this Undertale game was great. I should probably engage in some more online stuff like games and uh, gaming YouTubers. Oh, who's this guy? Salty DK Dan. Oh, Dog Island? That seems cute. That seems like a good stream to start with. He did what in church? Arr, we'll never make it to THE Dog Island in this storm. My ship won't hold. Charlie, I'm sorry I have to break my promise like this. I gotta cancel the trip to THE Dog Island. I'm awful sorry, Charlie. I know you want to get there as soon as you can. I gotta worry about me crew. Wait, hold on. <coughs> oh, jeez. I was edging that sneeze for a while. Ooh. Oh, that felt great. Oh, I feel like refreshed after that. I promise you, I will get you to the Dog Island. But not on this trip. I'll take you there on the next trip. Charlie, what are you doing? Someone stop Charlie! Holy shit! Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, he's dead. Oh, the game is over. Oh my god. No! Charlie, no! <laughs> oh, oh, he's okay. Oh, wait, no, that's not... Is that him? Oh, that is. Saroba from Undertale Yellow? You're awake! Oh, thank goodness! You're on THE Dog Island! My name is Amelia... Uh, Amalia... Uh, Amalia? Amalia. My name is Amalia, and you are? Charlie introduces himself. Did you swim all the way here through that storm? Then you're one lucky dog! Dude, I... I... Okay, hold on. So this is going to be like purgatory, right? Is is the Dog Island purgatory? I'm going full coma theory on this. Okay? This is like Ash Ketchum has been in a coma the entire series type shit. Charlie died. Charlie died in the, trying to swim the ocean in that rainstorm after going overboard. And now this is purgatory. And in order to ascend, he has to complete the adventure of Dog Island. And before you ask, yes, his brother, still gonna die. Charlie has to tackle the five stages of grief. The, the five dogs of grief. The seabed in these parts has a lot of sharp rocks. Sharper than the teeth of a shark they are. If you happen to hit one of those rocks, well, you wouldn't even be waking up right now. That's alluding to the fact that he died in that rainstorm and that this is purgatory. Game theory. Dog Island is purgatory? You should thank that little Mr. Birdie, too. 
Mr. Birdie told me that you fainted. You were lucky that Mr. Birdie came to tell me, you know. Okay, I get it. I get it, Amalia. You said it like three times. Thank you, random bird. Now go get your parents from E102 Gamma. But tell me, what's so important? That would make you try to reach this island in such a storm. You explain the situation. Oh dear, you've come all the way to see Dr. Potan? He has a clinic in the village square. You can get there by crossing the stream to the west of this house. He has a sign out in front, so you can't miss it. I'll be there waiting for you, okay? Dr. Potan's house is just across the bridge. Follow me. Wow, I, I'm still baffled by how big their heads are. In comparison to their bodies, like... What would, like, the difference in weight be? Like, oh my god. Pets Dogs 2 has wizards, so it's the better game. Were you power scaling dog video games in my chat? Oh, Pets, Pets, Pets Dogs 2 actually has wizards in it. You can be a wizard, so it's a better game than this one. Salty, when you get the chance, check the world map. You need to see how big this game is. Okay. Map. Okay, it doesn't seem that big. Holy shit! Oh, this is just one area! Holy shit! Oh, no! Oh, God, this is a long one, isn't it? Oh... Jesus. There are a lot of dogs that live in this village. But why don't you say hi to them? It might be fun. Nah, I'm good. I gotta save my, uh, brother from his mysterious illness. Oh, yeah, you you know that Dr. Potan knows what he's doing. He's got like a, a what is that like a I Don't know what those things are. It's a, it's the thing that Dr. Mario has I Was gonna say stethoscope. It's definitely not a stethoscope. Uh, uh, what's it called a head do a uh, head thing head dealy do oh Hello there, Miss Amelia. I, I'm Amalia fuck Whatever your fucking name is. Well, whatever can I do for you this day? And who is this fine young pup you have with you today? Uh, this is Charlie. Uh, Charlie desperately needs your help, Doctor. I see. And whatever might be the matter, um... He explained everything. <laughs> That's a lot of information to take in. You were with pirates? That shit's crazy. Anyway, your brother's dying nuts. Me, a famous doctor? Please, I just love to help others. A headlamp? Is that what that is? Can they screw like a lamp into it? Is that the point of it? Um, I have, I have, however, treated a very similar sickness in the past. Although I doubt this is exactly the same. I fear this may be too much for me. Doctor, please help Charlie. Very well. I shall do what I can. <laughs> Please voice him as Mario? Okay, okay, I'll try it. Great, isn't it, Charlie? I'm a sorry, but to find a cure... Woohoo! I need to do some research to find out what kind of medicine to use. Oh, <laughs> Wonderful! I'll need a few days. Okay, I need a couple of days. Can I help you with anything, Dr. Poton? Okay, you'll need a few days.
<laughs> Dr. Poton tries to... Dr. Poton gets to my island and he's like treating my brother and he's like, Wah! I can't cure him. Wahoo! He's gonna die. He's on his way out. There's no medicine that'll help. Sorry, my bad. You'll be here for a while, right? Then you'll need a place to stay. I got an idea. Noble has an empty house he isn't using. Let's go talk to him. Oh, mamma mia! It's terminal. It, there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Oof! We need to pull the plug. It's, it's... Sorry, my bad. Who is this dude? Whoa, hold on! Dude, look at this puppy! He's swag as hell! Holy shit! Amalia! Who is this pup with you? Uh, Charlie. Uh, Charlie, this is Noble, the village chair dog. Oh, please. My position is of no importance. You are not from these parts, are you, young one? No, he comes from Pororo Town. Oh, is that the name of the town I live in? Pororo Town? Oh, the big city. That is not a big city. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? <laughs> what? I thought I detected a fragile hint of massed elegance emanating from you. Something absent from so many around here. <laughs> Mario, my brother is dying. Yeah, yeah, yahoo! Whoa! Oof! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I fear I've confused you. Please ignore my big words. What brings you to our cozy island, then? He came here to ask for Dr. Potan's help to cure his sick brother. Of course, Dr. Potan. Fine doctor, isn't he? I presume he agreed to help. He did, but he needs a few days to get ready. And so Charlie has to stay here for a while, but... He doesn't have a place to stay. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but you have an empty house, don't you, Noble? Would you lend it to Charlie? Um... I could do that, I could do that. But I should ask you something first. Do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> Oh, you do believe in ghosts? Okay, great. Anyway, uh, you can go use my house, I guess. It was a yes or no question. No, no backing to that, whatever. Just figured I'd ask. This empty house of mine, well, it just so happens to be the site of some rather strange occurrences. Dogs have heard voices from thin air. Or sounds of something moving in an empty room. Of course, I don't believe any of it. But some dogs in the village think the place is haunted. Indeed, some even go as far as to, to, to suggest that my family is cursed. What the nerve? What nerve? I cannot afford to allow such rumors to carry on. They could damage the good name of my family for generations to come. If you can find the real reason for this haunting and solve the matter, then the house is yours for as long as you need it. Dude, I wish the housing market was this simple. Instead of being like, okay, so it's like $2,000 rent. Instead of that, it would just be like, okay, so it might be haunted and I'm going to give you some ghost hunting gear and you just have to like get rid of the ghost and then it's yours. In a heartbeat, dude. In a heartbeat. That is way better than waiting for the housing market to crash. The house I speak of is to the west of this house. Uh, there's a mailbox in front. You can't miss it. I'll be there waiting for you, okay? 
I like dogs. Do not go into the back room. Holy shit, he actually did say that. Please do not enter that room. That's where I keep all of the bodies. I mean, uh, paraphernalia. Wait, who, whose room is this? Peter? Who, who is this? Hey, th th there's uh, uh, Mamalia. You, you look so c c c cute t t today. Didn't I just hear Amalia's voice? Who are you? Charlie introduces himself. Uh, oh, hi. I'm Peter. Noble's my dad. Uh, where's Amalia? Uh, oh, I, I see. Oh, this is a maid puppy. <laughs> oh, hello. I hope someone of princely paws elegance rubs off on you. How do you feel about the current state of dog politics? Uh, you know what? I, I feel like dog Biden is a little bit too old to, to, to be running again. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Or in this case, I guess you can't really teach a dog to call a ceasefire. Dude, they got pigs? Oh, I made it scared. Let me charge on my bark. Dude, the textures of this game give me like Pac-Man World 2 vibes. Does anybody else like know what I'm talking about? Somebody in chat has to get what I mean. She said that there was a mailbox in front of it. And also she'll be waiting for me, so I just gotta walk around. Dude, big book! I'm glad to see you looking well. Thanks, book guy. Are there any cats in this game? Hold on, can I? Did, did the game? Does the game have like waypoints or something? Nope. Treely Woods. Green Meadows. Jesus, why is its head so big? Because it's Dog Island, motherfucker. Take your ass back to Pets Vets 2. Ah, okay, Charlie. It's not that I think that there's a ghost in here or anything, but, uh... Gulp, I've just remembered something that I uh, really need to do, okay? You learned a strange new smell. Well, I guess only one thing to do. Okay. What's happening? What? Who is this little man? Just a little creature. What is this thing? Patasi? Hey! Don't tell me. You can see me? What? You can? You really can't see me? Me? I'm Patasi. What's yours? I'm Charlie. Charlie, huh? You're one of those sniff masters I heard about, right? What the fuck? Where is this going? Where is this game going? 
You're not? Huh, that's weird. What? What? what is, is the main character like the chosen dog? Is that, is that where this is going? Well, you just sniffed out a hiding egg. Uh, that's not a trick that any old dog can pull off. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you know an uh, don't you know ox? Oh, how can you not know about ox? Oh boy, this is a sad day. Sad day indeed. Uh, listen up, then, Sniffly. Ghosts are just made up. There's no such thing, okay? But we ox, we've been around for as long as you care to remember. At least as long as you dogs have been around, okay? It's just that you dogs have forgotten about us. Dogs don't accept our existence anymore. A little too complex for you, maybe. Okay, just remember this. Ghosts and ox are two totally different things. Why are you here, anyway? Are you serious? You're really going through some tough times. Okay, then. I'll help you out. Don't worry, we'll be fine. So what, what, are, what are the ox? So what next? How about telling Noble about that you found out? You have to tell him, right? Tell him you solved his haunted house problem. <laughs> Batasi is like, y you see, there is no afterlife at all. Ghosts don't exist, and uh, after you die, your soul just kind of disappears into the ether, and your consciousness fades permanently. Hope that doesn't fuck you up too much. Anyway, my name's Putasi. I'm a little fucking gremlin man. I live in your walls. And my favorite food is burgers! You've solved the problem? I don't believe in ghosts, of course, but it wasn't a ghost, was it? Of course it wasn't. I knew it. I knew it. Now the princess can visit us safe. There's a princess? This this game's really, really tacking on a lot of extra lore. <laughs> what? Oh, never mind. Anyway, you may use the house as you promised, as I prop book. And you can use the furniture there too. Dude, holy shit. He gave us access to the house and the furniture. This man truly is a saint. Resting on a bed to restore your life energy or using the bed in your house to restore your energy for free or you paid it sleeping in a bed in an inn. I still can't get over the fact that he thought I was a ghost. <laughs> This is just crazy. Like I said, there's no afterlife and life is meaningless. Hey, Charlie. Let's get out of here. I love... I, I'm i sorry. I, I just love that I'm getting achievements for playing this. I keep forgetting that they're active until they pop up. I just remembered something I need to do. Charlie, can you help me burn down this village? Fire is actually really great at expressing yourself, don't you think? Help me find a bare patch of ground here, will ya? Well, it's gotta be pretty big open area. I remember the center of this village had a place like that. Okay. Not here. Oh, the center. Oh, right here. Achievement, Slay the Demon Hound King. <laughs> Wait a sec. Okay, here looks good. So don't just stand there. Lend me a hand, will ya? This'll become an Ankh tree. It's very rare. Brought it all the way from Ankh land myself. I was asked to plant it in this world by the queen herself. 
Luckily, I remembered. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, that should do it. <laughs> Jesus, Charlie's excited. <laughs> that's that's what the real Charlie looks like when I like dangle meat in front of him. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I can see it growing already. I guess it'll be a sprout for a while though. My queen told me this tree is no ordinary one. Each time someone says thank you to its owner. It takes that appreciation and uses it as energy to grow. And when this guy grows tall, I can go back to the land of Ox. Okay, my work here is done. How about we go check on Poton to see if he's ready yet? If he's slacking off, we should give him a little shove. Maybe burn down his house. Like I said, fire's a really great way at expressing yourself, Charlie. Kill the bastard. Okay, so where... What... Where was it again? This one? Han... No, that's Han's house. I don't know who Han's is, but... Whoa! I am Han's, the color magician! Although I've been unable to get anyone to call me that. Oh, well, see ya, Han's. I wonder if this game has, like, a final boss. Jeremy's house, no. Noble's house. Your house. I should save. Oh, I got mail. Oh, hello. I'm Mr. Postman. I deliver precious memories. Hold on. You think we met before in Pororo Town? Oh, you're thinking of my twin brother. He does look exactly like me. So tell me, do you know about deliveries? About letters. Deliveries allow you to send packages or receive letters. If a letter comes for you, or if you wish to send something, select mail and then choose to send or receive. Any old post can perform a save for you. Only we postmen can handle deliveries. Just let one of us know if you want to make a journey, or make a delivery. Any old post can perform a save for you. Uh, mail. Receive. Oh, yeah. Hey, bro. Oh, I got two. Accept. Okay, let's read the mail. Three hours in. At least according to this game. Okay. Um. We're definitely not three hours in, by the way. Oh, okay. Patasi's cool. Uh, special items? Nope. Memo? Letters. There we go. Hey, brother. Dear Charlie, how are you doing? Without you here, there's nobody to fight with. It's boring. And Mom looks pretty sad, too. Well, be careful out there. See you soon. Oh, and P.S. My disease has gotten worse. The doctor in town says I have 24 hours to live. Anyway, thanks, and see you later. Okay, we got a letter from Mom. Dear Charlie, how is everything? We're all doing fine here. Are you eating well? Don't forget to eat vegetables, okay? I will write you again. You should write us back sometime. Please be careful. Bye. P.S. Your brother is going to die tonight. It's very sad, but we don't really care all that much. Drinking lots of milk. Can I send the mail back? I want to send the mail back. Mail... Send. I don't have anything to send. Okay, well, I guess I can't just send a letter, I guess. Dorothy's house. Cafe. 
Malsh Malshiga's shop? Furniture dealer. Oh, here we go. Poton Clinic. Wait, do you have a time limit in this game? If I do, then my brother is screwed. He's gonna die. Oh, Charlie. Oh, sorry, wait, hold on. <clears throat> I was just getting ready. Wahoo! But I still need a few herbs. I'm gonna need them to help your brother. But you need to learn how to sniff if you want to find them. That's the only way to find them. Yahoo! Wah! Yah! Yahoo! But it's a special skill. I'm embarrassed to say that I, although I'm a dog, I do not know how to really sniff. Looks like you have some experience with sniffing. But you sniff somewhat different from the other sniffers. I thought they were there. You never had proper training, did you? You need to find a good master to teach you. And learn the basics of sniffing. To do that, you need to go out of this village. Wah! Yeah! Yahoo! And work on your sniffing. I feel like my mic might be cutting out, and I'm sorry if it is. <laughs> While you're at it, I will get ready and prepare what I need for this trip. Okay, so we're sniffing out herbs. Is that what we're doing? All crusty white dogs know how to do is sniff, eat hot chip, and lie. <laughs> Dude, who is this? Who is this dude? Anyhow, you should get started by finding a master to train you in the basics of sniffing. Uh, judging by the music, I feel like that guy was, like, evil. The mic can't handle the funny Mario voice. Can it not? Am I, like, cutting out and stuff? That's so funny. Okay, uh, well, where do we go, then? Welcome to Pupsville. It's a nice and cozy village. Okay, I guess we'll follow that one dog. Green Meadows. Oh yeah, there, there he is on the left. Uh, hi there, young one. I sense something from you. You wish to learn the art of sniffing, yes? Surprised you, have I? I know, I know. I can read you like a book. Oh, I know that look on your face. You do not believe me, yes? Well, do not be surprised yet, because I have more surprises for you. Hold on. Hmm. Your name is Charlie. Oh, he's a grifter. He's grifting me right now. You met Poton just a while ago. I, I can sense your hockey. I can sense you a powerful hockey, young one. You've been told by Poton to find something he needs, but to find it, you must learn the art of sniffing, yes? I assume you're impressed with the power of sniffing now, yes? It seems you can sniff a little bit, however, you never had proper training, am I correct? I think this is a good time to point out that I have a health bar on the top right, I've had a health bar this entire game, and I don't know what it's for. Because that insinuates to me that there's going to be some form of combat. I don't know what that would entail, because I haven't done it yet, but I'm just, I'm so curious. I must tell you this. You need someone to train you. And you're lucky that I'm here for you. My name is Yi Lu. May call me the great sniffer around here. And I will train you. But before I begin, I'm going to teach you how to survive on this island. You must listen very carefully, because it'll be crucial for your endeavors. 
Charlie, I smell your genocides. I, s I smell your genocides, Charlie. There are many animals besides us on this island. Of course, some are dangerous. This bear for- that's a bear? This bear, for example, looks dangerous, yes? When you see dangerous creatures, stay away from them. The life meter. And this is important. When you're attacked by those dangerous creatures, your life at the top right will, of the screen will decrease. Okay, well, I guess we're getting a tutorial on that now. And when your life is empty, the game is over. And when the game is over, all your items will be lost, so be careful. You must be careful with your life. That's enough for today. By the way, I'm not explaining the levels. No, dude, you wish to know about the levels? It stands for level of violence. You can choose to talk things out or you can genocide your enemies. Whatever you choose, you'll get a different ending to this video game. Your level increases when you learn a lot of smells, and you won't have to worry about small injuries so much when you get to higher levels. But only us teachers of sniffing can raise your level. Now, on this island, there are dogs like Road and Tao besides me, but they're not the type to teach beginners. You cannot just go knocking on their doors. But do not worry, I will train you here. Sniff as many smells as you can, then come back to talk to me. Uh, you wish to hear it all over again? No. Okay, then. That'll be all for now. Okay, your first task is... To find the Ring Fragment 1, which I have hidden in this stage. It smells like this. When you find Ring Fragment 1, bring it to me, yes? Then I'll teach you something else. Now, I sh you shall go. I'm gonna... Oh, wait, no, I don't have to go back. I was gonna, uh... I was gonna go back uh, because uh, I wanted to restore my health, but I don't need to. Okay, so it's just like a sniffing game. Sniffing is the main mechanic. Oh, is that it? Okay, got it. Wow, whoa, this is, this is open. Surprisingly open. How big is this? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that's- that's all of the map I've unlocked?! Oh my god! Is this an RPG? I mean, in the- in the most broad of senses, I guess. I'm going to teach you how to face dangerous creatures. The enemy status. Notice the icon that appears above the creature's head? It shows what condition they're in. A great sniffer like me can read their minds. So I'm going to teach you how to make their thoughts, make out their thoughts from those icons. This icon obviously shows that it is sleeping. This icon tells you that it's awake, but it does not see you. Now you are safe from these creatures when the icons display like this. They will not attack you. Keep quiet. Okay, that's the aggro. This icon tells you it sees you. When it's in, in this state, it might attack you if you approach near it. So you should try to stay away from it. Barking. Next, I'll show you how to bark. Uh, it's simple. Try barking at creatures that are sleeping or sneak up behind a creature that does not see you and bark at it from behind. So when they have this icon, sneak up from behind and press X. If you're successful, they will faint. If you hold down X longer, you will, your bark will be louder. And the creature will stay fainted longer. Why don't you give it a try? Just hold down the X button. Oh my god, there's a day-night system. Oh my god. If you hold down the X longer, your bark will be louder. And the creature will stay fainted longer. 
but you will need to close the creature need to be close to the creature to do this so approach as close as you can without being spotted if you bark properly no one can stand against you enough said then i i guess this is good enough for today i must give you a test on this to see if you've learned bring me ring fragment four from a snake that is on the east side uh use bark on the snake it will drop ring fragment four and this is its smell okay now go get it okay east side Yes, you have to use your Conqueror's Hockey to fight the snake. Okay, it does not see me yet. I have to sneak. I got it. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we get a sniff and check? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, this is it. Well done. For a moment there, I thought I lost it for good, thanks to that snake. Uh, mm, ahem. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, he's just using us to get this ring. Well done, I'll give you this in return. Oh, herbs. You can use it by selecting the item from the item menu. The item can be found in the menu by pressing the start button. This herb will restore your life. You can also buy one from the store, and you should always carry some. This is all I can teach you for now. With this information, you can find the medicinal herb Dr. Potown is looking for. And do not keep forgetting to train your sniffing. I will teach you other things when you're ready. And one more thing. You should come back to me when you learn a lot of smells. When you're ready, I will raise your level. Well then, take care. Alright. Okay. Official training, I think. So did your brother end up dying or oh no he's he's like on his deathbed i just gotta you know i, I gotta get these herbs very important okay let's go to uh the store restaurants photon clinic furniture dealer i want to go to the shop because i want to see what i can buy because i think i can buy accessories welcome to the Walshies. Oh my, you need a complete makeover. You you are what you wear, you know. Okay. How do I Okay, how do you how do you do a makeover? Welcome! What can I do for you today? Uh what are the new products? We have a great new si we have a great system for creating new merchandise. It's very easy to use and make use of. Uh, you see, you bring the materials and we'll make a new product for you. And the new product, the new item will be sold in stores that you can buy them too. All items and materials, blah blah blah. All you need to do is bring me the materials. Okay. Yeah, I'm with me so far. No, I didn't want you to say it again. Here's uh, the list of new merchandise that we can make. <laughs> God damn. Wow, there is actually a pretty decent amount of customization options. Uh, buy. Let's see, can I buy anything? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is there a bow tie? Is there a bow tie? There's no bow tie. There's only ribbons. This game sucks. Other. Oh, I can get a scarf, though. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. OK, so I got I got the bow tie. Um, I bought it. I think did I buy the bow tie? Yes, I did. I, I, I bought it. What else? Uh, glasses? Oh my god. Oh, I can get a backpack? And a collar? Oh my god. What about, uh... Mm, feather hat? 
Now, I like the, the stupid black hat. I might not wear it immediately, but... <clears throat> you need anything else? No. Okay, how do I put it on? Inventory. Accessory. Yes. Oh my god, he, he's so cute. He's so cute. Oh my god. We need to go outside. We need a clear view of this. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's so cute! Oh my god! This is awesome! Hold on, they were cooking with this game. They were cooking. You need to learn seven more smells. I smell a dog that needs help. Yes, a dog in trouble from the direction of Potan's clinic. Let's go. It's dog time. It's dogging time. Okay, save. Man, I love dogs. <laughs> That bear will see your drip and faint because I'm just so swagalicious. <laughs> somebody say, said, somebody said that my dog Sona right now looks like Mr. Peabody from Mr. Peabody and Sherman. I was not going for that, but I see it. Yeah. I can see you're getting better with your sniffing. I think you can find the herbs I need now. You know, the herbs that I need to help cure your brother. What I need is a yellow flower. It grows in green meadows. It's easy to find because of its yellow petals. It smells like this. Okay, uh, it smells like cabbage mixed with grapefruit. I'll be waiting for you. I'll uh, continue getting things ready for this trip. Combined scents. Uh, some events will require you to find scents that are combinations of scents. For example, find an item that smells like a banana and an apple. To find these items, you will need to learn the different scents that make up that combination. Okay. Okay, well that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. So, where do I learn cabbage? I'll go- I'll go talk to my teacher. Cabbage and grapefruit. Uh, the smell is coming from this green meadows. Now the rest is your job. Yeah. Okay, so I need to find out what cabbage and grapefruit smells like. I assume by doing quests in the town? Should I look up a, a freaking walkthrough? Hey, deliveries don't just carry objects, we deliver precious memories. Cordy, I know, but that's my motto. Okay, I guess I just gotta kinda walk around town. No, I'm not interested in furniture right now. Nope, just sniff around green meadows. Oh, okay. Okay, time for sniffing. <laughs> Basically, just start sniffing around. Okay, uh, I guess I'm sniffing around now. Aw. 
Oh, there's an orange thing here. What is this? Oh, I got tulip. Okay, so I assume that the blue one... The blue one is like a scent that I can get, and the orange one is like an item. I'll just follow the scents, see what I get. Grapes. Tulips have no scent. <laughs> it's a it's a sheep. Oh. Hold on. Am I gonna have to grind for scents, uh, scents off stream? <gasps> Cabbage! Wait, hold on. Item. Okay, so... Do I, do I get the scent? That I've got the cabbage now? Oh, okay, yeah, I got the scent. Because I have grapes now. Okay, so what was the other thing? It was cabbage and, uh... Something else? Cabbage and, uh... Oh my god, I literally was just thinking about it too. Okay. Oh! Grapefruit! That was what I was looking for! Okay, yellow flower. Okay, so the blue one is like event items, basically. And the orange one is like normal sense. Hold on. I'm not close enough. Okay, there we go. Be careful not to get bit by these snakes. Okay, there we go. And easy. Dude, this game is made for babies. That was so easy. Too many grapes. <laughs> Someone's trying to poison a, do a, a dog. Back in Pupsville. Hey! Some snakes can turn around. Oh, that's good to know. So how far am I in the game so far? I feel like I'm still pretty early on. You having fun salting? It's actually pretty enjoyable, I won't lie. Yes, this is it, thank you! But I need two other herbs. One of them is called a blue flower. As I, I asked Francis to go and get it, but he should be back by now. Could you check to see how she's doing? I heard she was having some trouble with the Victory Gang's pranks. The pranks are getting worse these days. I just hope they don't hurt Francis. Oh, okay. I'm not that far. I'm still in the tutorial? Oh, damn. Dang. Is it loading a cutscene? What's happening right now? It is! Where are they pulling those tomatoes from? Oh. Come on, Potan! Or is it Potan? Potasi? Potasi? Not Potan. Potan's the doctor. I guess- I'm guessing that this is the Victory Gang.
Charlie. Who are those dogs? And this one, she's fainted. Oh. Ow. Oh, she's coming too. Oh my. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. Oh, hi. You are, uh, Charlie? Yes, you are Charlie. I'm Francis. I work as a nurse at Dr. Poton's clinic. I heard about you from Dr. Poton. You came to THE Dog Island to save your brother all by yourself, right? You're so brave. I just wish I had half as much confidence. Aww, poor Francis. Do you have time to listen to my story? Well, let me tell you anyway. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for asking, I guess. Those dogs who were just here are the Victory Gang. It's a gang that loves to cause trouble for other dogs. Well, the problem is, it's really about me. I'm a nurse, you see. But I'm actually terribly afraid of the sight of blood. Go on, laugh if you want. <laughs> okay, I'm done. A nurse who's scared of blood. I know, I know. It was okay to start with. I only felt a little sick. But now, just seeing the color red is just enough to make me feel sick. Okay, uh, don't look at my bow tie. What if, Francis, whatever you do, do not look down like a couple of centimeters. When it gets really bad, I even faint. The Victory Gang found out about all this, and now they love to pick on me. And I need to look for the blue flower that Dr. Potan wanted, but... Those Victory Gang dogs keep throwing tomatoes at me. It scares me so much that I can't deal with my work. Oh, that's why they were throwing tomatoes at her? Not because it sucks to get tomatoes thrown at you, but because it makes her faint? I wish I could just teach you the smell, but... I'm not even confident enough to teach you anything right now. But the Victory Gang aren't to blame, not really. I am. It's my weakness. I know I should be able to control it, but... Just seeing anything red is enough to make me feel sick. Again, please do not look down like a centimeter or two. Please. Please maintain eye contact with me at all times. I will scream if you don't. But I've learned, but I have heard something about something called the brave fruit. Oh my god, it is one piece! The brave fruit is a plant that grows on the green meadows. They say that eating you makes you brave, and you also sink in water. I'm sure that that's a, that's a weird byproduct side effect that we shouldn't worry about. If I had one, I'll be able to teach you what a blue flower smells like. Please, find the other brave, uh, find the brave fruit for me? I think this is what the brave fruit smells like. Yo ho ho, he took a bite of brave fruit. Yayo yayo. Dreamin', don't give it up, Charlie. Dreamin', don't give it up, Poton. Dreamin', don't give it up, Pirate Dog. Dreamin', don't give it, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it. Oh! Here's how the here's how the story goes. You find out about the treasure of the puppy line. There's no doubt. The dog whose eyes on it, you'll see. I'll be king of the dogs. I'm gonna be king. Okay, so what is the, what does the brave fruit look like? Do we have like a smell list? Status. Oh, oh, it's the blue one. The blue one's the key item. I, I forgot. I'll be king of the dogs. I'm gonna be king. Felipe is cooking. Poton's doctoring. Yayo, yayo. Dreaming. It fits too well. Oh, Bernard's cooking. Bernard's cooking. Poton's doctoring. Yayo, yayo! To find the treasure in the dog line! Yayo, yayo!
Okay, brave fruits. Where is she? Wait, where'd she go? She probably in a Poton's lab. A clinic. The one piece. The one piece is the name of the treasure. He ate the brave fruit. How did that happen? Yo ho ho. Uh, he found it in the meadow. I think this is a Wii system seller. <laughs> you think so? This is on PS2 as well. Francis eats the brave fruit. She became a bit braver. I feel slightly, but surely a little more brave. I don't think I'd faint now, even if I saw actual blood. Now I can teach you the smell of the blue flower. It smells like grape mixed with lavender. Blue flowers in treely woods. I saw one by the entrance to Zumi Lake. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta find lavender. Dude, I'm getting all these achievements. I might be the greatest Dog Island player of all time. Okay, let's go to Treely Woods. Wait, is the entrance... Hold on. Oh, it's... It, the entrance is over there. I Maybe we can find Lavender in Treely Woods? What's going on, dude? We're doing some construction. No one's allowed to pass through here at this time. We're making a road from here to Treely Woods. I know how these things are. Well, it'll take a while. There's nothing I can do about it. Sorry. Okay. Um. Dude, I love I love my dog Charlie, but he is so stupid. He is very dumb. That or he just doesn't give a shit. I, I like to think that he's just stupid. Like one time I fell down some stairs uh, and, you know, obviously I wasn't expecting him to help me. He's a dog, but I, I was on my back groaning and I got the wind knocked out of me. And I was hoping that he would like do like a do like a thing where it's like, oh, you know, uh, oh, oh, what, what happened? What happened, boy? Oh, did, did Derek fall down the well? You know, that sort of thing. I, I thought I thought he was going to like go run upstairs and get somebody but he did not he just kind of he, he 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 looked at me growling in pain and he just kind of sat down he did that thing where like the, the you know dogs like like walk around in circles a little bit and then he sat down and then he fell asleep while i was groaning in pain can i smell this can i get that i want that beetle so you're talking about the game for a second? I'm confused. Oh no, no, the, the dog in this game I based on my real life actual dog. Okay, let's go sniffing. Get out of my way. What's the combat like in this game? Well, I guess you just saw it. We bark really loud. Okay, apple, we need to get lavender. Oh, is this, is this lavender? Yes, there we go. Okay, um. That's what we're looking for. How far away? Oh, it, it's probably on the other side. Yeah, it's on the other side. Thanks for inventing dog salty. Oh, no problem. I thought they'd be a cool idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Gotta be close. Wait, hold on. Uh, another smell is here. Orange. Oh, tell me it's like it's over there. 
Goliath, help me. In trouble I am. Oh, dude, <laughs> does dude talk like Yoda? The axe handle is broken, I can't work. And who are you? You want to go through here? Then uh, go along the river heading uh, south of this forest and bring me a new axe handle. The road splits in two ways. Just cross the bridge and head back a little. Follow the other path to the south along the river. A gorilla lives there, so <laughs> be careful. <laughs> okay. So I got I got to go find a gorilla that has an axe. Very cool. The realism in this game is insane. No wonder Kojima talks such a big game at E3. This game's amazing. Okay, so I gotta follow... I'll oh, follow the river to the south. Okay, so that way. Hey, where's the gorilla? The gorilla is nearby. I can smell him. <laughs> so I found the gorilla. There we go. All right, got the axe handle. This is shovelware? Didn't it have a bunch of McDonald's toys attached to it? Dude, I have no idea. This is my first time playing this. I thought it was shovelware. It's pretty good. I'm having fun. Salty, what the hell are you playing? Uh, I, I advise you to read the title. Read the title of, of the, the, the stream. There's no way that you can misunderstand this. <laughs> yep, that's it. Perfect. Now let me chop that big log for you. Go for it, little dog. Yeah! Now I should be able to get over to the other side. Ow, wow, 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 wow. My back is starting to act up again. I'm gonna head back home. Well, see you around. Is it portal? No, it's it, it's not portal. Check the title again. You can do this. Sound it out. Oh, is it right here? Let's go. Zoomy Lake. Let's check it out. Looks like you gotta swim to go any further. Swimming. So, use uh, the left stick, choose the direction, and tap S circle to move forward. Also, be able to sniff and bark. However, you will not be able to bark loudly, so be careful. Are these kiwis? Oh my god, they are. Oh, I freaked out the kiwi. That's an alligator. Oh, got a scent. Dude, getting scents in this game is like kind of like getting like Koroks. It gives me such an, ad an adrenaline rush. Not close enough. How did I lose half a heart? That's weird. I don't remember losing half a heart. Green apple, let's go. Dude, I when I was a kid, I used to love green apple candies. Like, oh my god, dude. Now 
that has me kind of hankering for some green apple, like, like, you know, like green apple candies that you can like suck on. Why does green apple taste different than red apple is my question. Like why, why is there a difference? They're both apples. Are green apples like kind of sweeter? I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know completely the, what the difference is. Oh, I gotta, I'm on the wrong side. Uh, da, da, da. It's citric acid. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I love me some citric acid. I guess that's more appropriate to say. Citric acid goes hard, as the kids say. All of the kids are saying this. We're making a shortcut to blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's still under construction. Thanks. There, there's no there's no point in making this... In making that an optional area. There's no point in having that shortcut be locked off right now. I, I don't understand why they did that. Because it just takes me longer to get back. All right. There we go. Oh, I'm going to see if I can raise my level by by now. I think I have enough. I shall raise your level. You have, you have gained a level. Okay, so it feels like we're actually in the game now. Like, the tutorial is more or less over. You must learn 25 more smells. I smell a dog that needs your help. Yes, a dog in trouble in the direction of Potan's clinic. Whoops, didn't mean to. When does the dog pee? Uh, I don't think that urine exists in this universe, I'm afraid. I think that this is a magical place where nobody needs to pee or shit. Oh, wait, you get another heart when you level up. Oh, okay, that's cool. Is this game new? Oh, yeah, no, this this just came out yesterday, actually. You see, you see, it, it you, you can tell it's new because I have the cool achievements from Steam. Yeah, it's it's brand new. It's a new game from like Nintendo. They're promoting it like all over all over Twitter. I don't know how you didn't see it. Oh yes, this is it. Now only one more to go. It's called the White Flower. But it's getting too late, and I need to do some research on it. You should rest up. Okay, I guess I'll go sleep. Hmm? What's happening? I thought I just felt a little pain in my stomach. Oh, it's gone. Maybe it's nothing. Let's rest up. Well, that doesn't seem like a good sign. Hey, Mr. Postman, I'm saving up. Thank you, Mr. Postman. Well, actually, can I mail anything? Mail. Send. I don't have anything to send. Where, where can I get stuff to send? Legit, is it on Steam or are you getting achievements from a legal purchase? I'm getting achievements from my legal purchase. I love legally purchasing games. It's my favorite thing to do. Right next to inhaling oxygen and pissing. Ow, ouch! Ow, 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 ow! My stomach! Help, I'm dying here! Dude, this happened to me a couple years ago. I had to go to the hospital. I had like an intussusception. It's it's when your small intestine kaleidoscopes into itself. 
it like collapses into itself like a like a kaleidoscope does when like a or like a one of those like big magnifying glasses uh or looking glasses that pirates use when they like y you know what i mean yeah my, my my small intestine like collapsed in on itself uh and it was one of the most painful experiences i've ever had anyway back to dogs H hey charlie you're just gonna stand there while your buddy suffers like this Ow, 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 ow. Man, it even hurts when I try to talk. Ow, 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 ow. Get me a doctor. I need a doctor, please. Ah, what a great sleep. I'm dying here, he says to a dog with a terminally ill brother. Oh yeah, my bad. Oh, Patassi, you can't die because my, my brother's dying. He's already laid claim to that. You can't just do that. This is America. He's copyrighted it. Dude, imagine how embarrassing it would be if, like, your friend, like, one of your family members, one of your friend's family members has, like, a disease and they're dying, and then you get hit by a truck and then die yourself. Oh, my God. Like, way to steal the spotlight, right? Am I right? Uh, hi there, how are you doing today? You explain the situation. What? The Onx? Haha, <laughs> you must be dreaming. You know, Alex likes such tales. You should go talk to him. He'll be happy to help you. I'm still doing some research about the white flower. I need some more time on this. Okay, so who's Alex? Alex the Lion? Alex the Lion, what the fuck are you doing here? I'm trying to take a piss. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> well, there's Alex. Greetings, sir. What can I do for you? My stomach, it hurts. Please, you gotta do something. Can I help you? I'm telling you, I have a stomach ache. I can't help you if you remain quiet like this. What? Oh, I get it. There are two kinds of dogs in this world. One that can see Onks and the other kind that can't. And you can't see me. Charlie, tell him for me, please, about my stomach. Uh, you explain the situation. How many times is there going to be a pop-up in this game where it just says you explain the situation? Ah, oh, the situation from Jersey Shore? Yeah, I know about him. Crazy guy he is. Him and Snooky, they get in all sorts of hijinks. Wish the show was still on the air. Man, I love that show. Really? That's right, really! You mean here? Yep, right here! Hmm, unfortunately, I can't see it. Hey! I've read about Onks in the past, but I, I thought that was just a tale. You know, a myth. Anyway, this Onk here has a stomach ache, huh? Please, you gotta help! You just gotta! But I can't see him. I'm sorry, but I, or... Shall I say, we, who can't see him, have no chance of curing him. I'm very sorry. I couldn't be of much help. Oh man, come on. There's gotta be a way. Here's an idea. There's a dog named Obaba who might be able to help you. Obama? She lives on this island. She's not the normal kind of doctor, though. She's, oh, how shall I say, a bit of a traditional. She's a healer. Uh, we all used to go to her back when we were sick, and she cured us with charms and herbs. Whenever strange things happen, we all used to go to her to, for advice. That was a long time ago, though. Now she, she, now she might be able to cure that aunt's sickness. But there's something you should know. It's just a rumor, though. They say her treatment once made a patient worse. Fatally worse. But then again, you don't have any other choices for doctors to go to. 
Obama's house is here in Treeley Woods. The road behind the cafe is a shortcut to the Treeley Woods. Once you get there, turn right and keep going straight until the road ends. You'll see a wooden arch there. Obama's house is just behind, beyond that arch. This game's very topical. Dog Joe Biden. Dog Obama. Pretty ahead of its time. Ooh, oh, post. Let me uh, receive. What's up? Who sent this? Who sent this? Who has my address? Who the fuck has my address? What's up? Yo, Charlie! How are you doing? Viviana and I are just doing fine. I'll write you again later. That was a short ass letter. Imagine writing like a letter like that, like a text. Dude, like that could have been a text. You did not have to write a letter. Could have been like a fucking email. It's not necessary. Whoops, I accidentally quit out of the game. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. But honestly, it might, it might be time to wrap up anyway. I'm getting a little bit tired and hungry. Yeah, that's Dog Island. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see me play more of this uh, in the future. Uh, tomorrow is the Undertale stream. Uh, I'm doing with Mikey. We're doing the, uh, the neutral route first, then the pacifist route. Then I'm doing the genocide route. Um... Oh, also, uh, donations. Check out the 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 thing and the donations and the the the, uh, the GoFundMe uh, that uh, exist uh, down below. Please tell me you saved. Yeah, I, I saved. That's what I was literally doing. Look, see, see, look. See? We're all good. When it loads. See, I even got all my, my stuff and shit. Yeah, you see? All good. Let me save again. Um, Save data already exists. Can you play? No. Okay. So yeah, uh, check out... Check out the GoFundMe. Uh, the two GoFundMe's linked in the description below. I've explained it a lot, but I'll just gladly explain it again. We're doing a fundraiser for two of our friends. Uh, if we complete the fundraiser, then we get to do fun stuff on this list this year. Uh, speaking of, I gotta, I gotta start uh, setting up how to play Pokemon with Tetris again. Uh, I did that in my spare time, but I, it's very interesting. I can't wait to try it out. Um. Yeah, I think that that's it. Uh, I was gonna give out the Discord link. Let me... Real quick, if anybody would like to join the Salty DK Dan Discord. People kind of just like to hang out in there. Do cool shit. Uh, invite people... Uh, this is gonna be a, 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 a live stream only link, so... If you want to hop in, here it is. Oh, hell yeah. Yo, this is, this song is awesome. I love this song. So yeah, if you're watching a VOD and you want to, you want to join the discord, uh, catch one of the ends of the streams and uh, you'll get your chance to hop in. The Dog Island might be my comfort game. Thank you so much for bringing this obscure game to light. No problem. I love I love stuff like this. My dream sometimes looks so far away. They 
Oh, also, if you're joining the Discord, uh, go, go make sure that you go to the Roll Reacts channel and choose your pronouns and stuff. Uh, and yeah. Sorry, this is such a bop. God, it's so good. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up for now. Uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow we got the Undertale stream with Mikey. Uh, but again, uh, starting on the 18th, uh, there's gonna be a, a strike for Gaza. You can look into it on social media and stuff like that. I, I don't want to publicize any false information about the specificities of it because I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, so uh, I know I do know it's gonna be like from the 18th to the 25th. I won't be uploading or streaming during that week. Uh, I will do it as soon as uh, the, the strike is off, though. So just letting you guys know for uh, for the future. I still plan on doing weekly uploads. Uh, I'm just taking a break for that week. Uh, so that week's upload will be a little bit late, like a day after the strike ends, I think. But yeah, uh, let me know on... The comments of the VOD and all that, uh, if you want to see this game again. I'd, I'd be totally down to keep playing this. But uh, we got to do uh, Undertale and Yakuza and Knuckle Sandwich, so I'm juggling a couple of different games right now. I thought there was going to be a one-off. No, nope, it, it might not be a one-off. So, yeah, uh, see you guys later. Uh, make sure to drink water. Maybe sit on the stoop for a little bit if you can. Open a crack a window tonight. You know, all the good shit. Uh, a sh a shut? Shut? Shit. Yeah. All right. Have a good night, everybody.